this is Robin Foss, and here's a quick artisan tip. If you like to create your own uplifting shadows, here's a tip for you. So an uplifting shadow is going to give you a look like this, where it looks like the photo's coming off the page. So to create that, we're going to start with the insert ribbon, content section, shape, and we're going to put in a rectangle. We're going to set the size to 6 is the width and 6.5 is the height. Leave the angle alone. The fill is a solid color. Black. And the stroke is none. We'll hit create. Then I'm going to go up here into the home ribbon, a rain section, a line, center on page. And one tip is to make a copy of this before you move on. So I already have my copy over here, but you know, just copy and paste and throw it over in the work area. That way, if you want to come back in and play and make more um, with different cuts, at different angles, you can do that. So next, we're going to use our ruler tabs as a cheat sheet. So we're going to click on the left side at 6. And I can right click and set position and make sure it's exactly at 6. And then the top. Go outside of the rectangle at 3, and the other outside at 9, and then a quarter inch in on each side, so 3.25 and 8.75. And then now I'm going to zoom way in to kind of the width of the page, and then I'm going to right click, shape, edit shape. I'm going to hover my pointer over the right side of the page, left click to create a point, and drag it into that quarter inch kind of marker, so just a quarter inch in, then hover on the left side, drag it over, okay, and we're going to say okay. Then we can remove our markers if we want to. Next we're going to cut the top and bottom off using the blended edge cutter. So cut ribbon, cutter section, straight cutter, blended edge cut, say okay. We're going to set the width to 1.5, and this is one you can come back and do other ones at different widths to see what works best, what you think looks most realistic. And then 90 degrees, then I'm going to grab the yellow crosshairs, slide it up until it is equal with the top, that top line equals to the top. Keep the unshaded and cut. With it still selected, go up to this blended edge cutter again. To 1.5, negative 90. Slide the crosshairs down to the bottom so you can see that that lower line is equal to the bottom of the shape. Keep the unshaded and cut. Then we're going to go up here to the quick access toolbar and we're going to change the opacity to 75. And then if we add a photo to the page, so insert empty frame, and I'll unlock that aspect ratio, then I can kind of resize it. I can also resize the shadow, but it kind of gives the look that it's coming off the page. And then if I wanted to, I could always go home, copy, paste, drag below, maybe reduce the opacity to 50% or 60, and then kind of slide it in, make it a little bit wider and shorter. Wider on this side too. That gives it even more depth. Well, before we finish, let's go ahead and save this as an embellishment. So right click, save selection, save as image in a personal art kit. One tip you'll want to make sure you have a personal art kit created before you go out to save something to it. It's kind of you need to do that first. Um, go out here, go to personal art kits, Robin stuff, select, and then we'll call it lifted shadow one. Next one down, I can right click on it. Save to a personal art kit. Lifted 
shadow too. So that's it. I uh, hope you have fun playing with lifted shadows. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.